Over eight years ago, you walked into the King's College Chapel looking to sign up for choir. Uh, fortunately for you, we had an audition slot available and there was a beautiful, hilarious work study in the office that day and she was single. Um, unfortunately for you, she wasn't really looking for a relationship at that time. Mm. Um, she really needed to focus on school. And uh, at least that's what I told myself until you actually joined choir and I realized how funny and kind and handsome and cute you were. I knew even then that one day you would be someone important in my life. I had no idea how important that would be. I vow <laughs> to be your warmth. I vow to be your light. And I vow to be your best friend. I vow to fill our home with laughter and joy, with delicious food, as long as you vow to clean the dishes. <laughs> Most importantly, Matt, I vow to love you unconditionally as long as there are stars in the sky. <laughs> So ready. This may sound cliche, but it's hard to put into words what the last eight years of my life have meant to me with you by my side. It's strange to think that there was a time before you were in my life at all. People say that love waxes and wanes like the phases of the moon, but no. Love, our love, is the moon, and its appearance takes different forms. A slender crescent of a smile, a half moon shaped portion of dinner one saved for the other, the reflection of light and illumination that a full moon brings to you during darkness. All of these are love. You are my moon. And as the moon shines through her relationship with the sun, I vow to be the sun in your life. To greet you with kindness each morning. To give energy. To grow your passions. To cover you in light and warmth when you need it. And to fill your home with the beauty of a mosaic sky as I set this is our love, and I vow to love you wholly, earnestly, honestly, and completely with all of my being. Sometimes the challenges are the things that bring us closest together especially with the fast few years where the world has thrown so much at all of us. I hope you both will remember to turn to one another in times of need and tell each other, I know the world's a broken bone, but melt your headache, call it home. Congratulations, Betty and Matt. I can't wait to see what life has in store for you. Matt and Betty, I, I wish you a life full of happiness, a million more awesome memories, and I'm just so grateful that I get to be around for them. Congrats. Over the years, I have seen these two grow, not just as individuals, but as a couple. They've overcome challenges, and they always have supported each other. I cannot wait to see what you will accomplish in the future. I love you both, and congratulations. Congratulations.